Hi guys, Master Gillen here with the solutions for this week's exam style questions. First up, we've got an algebraic fraction and we're looking to express 4 over x plus 2 subtract 3 over x minus 4 as a single fraction in its simplest form. And remember, as we, we get this, x is not equal to negative 2 and x is not equal to negative uh, <laughs> equal to 4 and the reason that sometimes we have this included is because if x was negative 2 then this denominator would become 0 and if x was 4 then this denominator would become 0 you can't have that so all this is telling us is X is a number, but the number is not negative 2 and not 4. So let's have a look then. We know if we are subtracting fractions, we have to have a common denominator. Usually what we would do for that is we would find the lowest common factor, or the lowest common multiple, sorry and we would adjust it accordingly. We don't know what the lowest common multiple is for x plus 2 and x subtract 4. So what we're going to do instead is we are going to stick them together as brackets. Now, simplest form is very important here. This is the simplest form that we can have for the denominator because it's been factorised ultimately. We don't have to expand on the denominator on the bottom because that is the simplest form we can get. If we look at the numerators, we have to adjust them. Remember that I went from x plus 2 to x plus 2x minus 4. So how have I got there? Well, I've multiplied by x minus 4. So for the numerator, I'm going to have to do the same. How did I get from x minus 4 to x plus 2x minus 4? I've multiplied by x plus 2. So for the numerator, I need to do the same. Now that I've got a common denominator, I'm going to go to the side here, so I'm not going to have space. I can combine the fractions. So I've got x plus 2, x minus 4. And then my numerators, I've got 4 x minus 4, subtract 3, bracket x plus 2. Again, it says simplest form. The numerator isn't in its simplest form, so I need to expand those brackets. So I'll get 4x, subtract 16, because I'm using my knowledge of expanding brackets. Subtract 3x, subtract 6, all over x plus 2, x, subtract 4. So when I simplify that down, 4x, take away 3x, is just x. Negative 16, take away 6, negative 22, over x plus 2, x subtract 4. At this point, I can't take out any common factors, so that's me finished that question. Next up, we have got express 4 over root 6 with a rational 
denominator in its simplest form. So at the moment, we've got a third as our denominator. Third is an irrational number, so we need to rationalise it. And the way we're going to do that is we are going to use our knowledge of equivalent fractions. And we are going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the third. So for our numerator, four times root six works the same way as algebra. It just becomes four root six. Root six times root six is going to give me six. The question is asking for simplest form. So I'm now looking to see if I can simplify anything. I always like to check the third first. Can I simplify root six? No, there's no pairs of factors of six that are perfect squares. So I can't do anything to that. With the whole numbers, I can divide four by two and I can divide six by two. So four over root six in its simplest form is two root six over three. Last up, we have got multiply out the brackets and collect like terms. So we've got 2x plus 3 and then x squared subtract 4x plus 1. Sometimes when we see pairs of brackets, we would use FOIL, which of course stands for first, outside, inside and last. We can't use FOIL for this particular question because the third bracket, sorry, the second bracket, has got three different terms. So if we were to use FOIL, then this middle term would be missed out. So we're going to do it in a slightly different way. We're going to Multiply everything by 2x first and then by 3. So 2x times x squared is going to give me 2x cubed. 2x times negative 4x is going to give me negative 8x squared. 2x times 1 is going to give me positive. 2x. So that's me multiplied by the 2x. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the 3. So 3 times x squared is plus 3x squared. 3 times negative 4x, be careful with negatives, is negative 12x. And then 3 times 1 is positive 3. Make sure that when you do these questions, it is a good idea to show the jumps because apart from anything else, it's a good way to keep on track of what multiplying you have already done. Once you've expanded, at that point, it's then time to simplify. Start with the highest powers. So we've got an x cubed in there. Check along the line if there's any other x cubes. We've only got one, so we've got two x cubed. And what I quite like to do is, once I've written it down for the simplifying process, I like to put a line through it so that I don't look at it again. Then deal with the x squared terms. I've got negative 8x plus 3x squared. So that's going to give me negative 5 x squared and again once you've dealt with them cross them out positive 2x subtract 12x is subtract 10x and again cancel them out 
and then at the end, my plus three. I can't do anything else with this. I've got everything down into its simplest form. I don't have a value for x, so I can't find anything else. And that's me sorted. As always, if you've got any questions, thanks so much for listening. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me. This is Mr. Gillen signing off. Speak to you all soon.